Alright, hey YouTube, what's going on today? It's Effect and Stuff here. And today I'm going to be teaching you how to put ROMs onto your Android device. For mine, it's Droid X, but this will work for any device. That's Droid, basically. That's an Android device. So, um, yeah, to prove, I'm going to be using Game Mode Lite, and I won't be using ROM Gripper. Don't worry about that, because I know that's not off the market right now. So, um, I'm just going to scroll, and let me find, there's Game Boy. So, as you can see, the only ROMs I have now in this folder, alright, hold on. Alright, it's not, uh, SD card slash ROMs dash DBA. The only thing I have in there is Pokemon Fire Red. So, let's put Super Mario Advanced or another Pokemon game, I don't know. Let's just do this. Just This is just a lesson, so I don't care what game goes on there. So what we're going to need is a USB uh, power adapter thing that should have came with your computer, I mean uh, your device. So what you're going to do is you're just going to take that, plug one end into the computer, the USB end, and the micro USB end into your phone. So once you've done that, um, it's going to say this. Now hold on, personal information might pop up here. Alright, so it didn't. So, um, so what you're going to do is you're going to drag down your menu real quick. And your USB connection, you're going to make sure that that's on USB mesh storage. And then you should hear a sound on your computer letting you know that it is now connected. So now you can put your Droid device down. Now what you're going to do is you should get one of these, removable disk G or whatever. Hit open folder to view files. And now go down here where it says ROMs. This is after you install Game Boy. So do that and this folder will automatically be made. Hit ROMs, GBA. And now here's all your... Um, Fire Red stuff that happened. You got your Fire Red and the saves, the two saves I made. Alright, so now what we can do is we can um, minimize that and try to do this through the camera. And now what we're going to do is go to a website called Cool ROM. If you don't know how to get to this, you have to do it one hand. What you're going to do is type in on Google Cool ROM. That's it. C O O L R O M. First one. It should bring you to a page like this. And by the way, guys, I'm not responsible for anything if you mess up. Hit Game Boy Advance, even though there's nothing really you can do. After you hit Game Boy Advance, hit P. Actually, we're going to be looking for S, so Super Mario. I don't even know if that's for this. I'll be pretty surprised if it is. Let me find it, guy. Super Super Mario. No, I don't think it is. So, we're just going to go to P for the most popular game on the Game Boy. Pokemon. So, go here, go down. Um, find your Pokemons, pick one you want. I have Fire Red, so I guess I'll have to go with Leaf Green. You will then be greeted with a screen like this. Scroll down, and you'll have a wait time. And that wait time is only about 8 seconds, so... You can download from the mirror, but it's not worth it. The wait is so much easier. Just hit Download File, and Pokemon Leaf Green will appear here. It's going to open the zip file. You need to make sure you have WinRAR to do this. Just type in WinRAR on Google. Alright, so once that's open and you can view the files inside, there should be two files, the README and the actual uh, GBA file, the ROM. So what you're going to do is right click that, if you have WinRAR, ex extract and just hit desktop and hit OK. Alright, so now you have it on your desktop, Pokemon Leaf Green. Now all you need to do is right click that, hit copy, hit that folder you had open with the GBA ROMs, and just hit paste and it's about 16 megs so just hit that and now you're done so you can exit the hat let's hit up the android again um, we're gonna do that gotta do my code hold on all right so we're back here now we're gonna do this USB connection now you can change it to just charge only and hit okay so now now it's gonna say preparing SD card now that, so you're good now. After it's done that, you're just going to hit your thing, go down to Game Boy Light, and now you have to hit hit your thing here and hit refresh, and now Pokemon Leaf Green should have popped up. Now you just hit Pokemon Leaf Green, and you're playing it. So here it is, I'll hit A, you can hear the music, now I'll turn it up. Easy as that, guys. That blue thing was the help thing. You can do that by hitting a right or left trigger. But anyway, um, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, have a great day.